they're real and that there, there's a purpose for them, then we should know who and what they are. It says, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth, yep. com comparing spiritual things with spiritual, uh -huh. but the natural man receiveth not the things that are spirit of the Most High. You can see where his spiritual side ended. <laughs> because when we were answering him in scripture, spiritually, he wouldn't comprehend it. started to get too high for him. And so he's like, I'm going to just ask you again, because I need a natural man answer. Right. I just right. held a sabbatical, da, 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 da. You're missing it, man. Right. I didn't even want to go and ask him what the Sabbath right. was. You know, I didn't even want to ask him that. That's why you got to make it plain to him. Right. Yeah. And even then, sir, sir, when you even make it plain to him, it still go over the head. Yeah. 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 Hey, and then uh, the wedding was too high for a fool. Yeah. You know, he, he felt a fool at the end of the day. Yeah, he knows scripture here and there, but you felt a fool at the end of the day because the wisdom that we uh, try to give you so you can um, be able to instill in your mind, it was too high for you. That's why you got to become a fool that you may be wise. Yep. Yeah. It says, it says, Humble yourself as a newborn baby. Yeah. Yep. It says, but the natural man receiveth not the things that are spirit of the Most High, for they are foolishness unto him. Yep. Neither yep. can they know them because they are spiritually discerned. You got to be spiritual to take the, to take a UFO seriously. You got to be spiritual. <laughs> yeah. as, as something of peace, you know, you got to be spiritual. There's never been any uh, inkling that they're peaceful unto man upon the earth that a so-called UFO is peaceful to man upon the earth. Everything you've heard has been a negative about what they're here for and what they're doing. But that's what makes sense in a spiritual sense that there are vehicles, the only thing that can get out of thermonuclear fire, that can really deliver you with the type of speed, with the type of movement. Like the uh, jet, going, never even get out of here. They show you that. Uh, in uh, Independence Day, yep. they were trying to take off the runway at the throwing wind. Yep. And, uh, I uh, turned my like corner, right? Yep. At the throwing wind, that shit coming at you hundreds of miles per hour, top knock feet with that heat. Yep. And that heat is coming first. Yep. And then that wind, you know? Y'all remember that, uh, that, that, that UFO footage, you know, cherry footage in Jerusalem over the, the Rock of the Dome where it came down real yeah. slow? You're like, is that what I think? Went up so fast, like, oh, and everybody, oh. Before that, was a, oh, sorry, uh, before that, it was a boom. Yes, yeah. it took off, right? But my, my point was how fast it took off. You can't, you can't descend like that with, with anything as a man yeah, anything made. Yeah, anything physical from this realm, right. it doesn't have do that, that kind of, of ability. No, right. because that's why the, uh, the, uh, the army wanted the, the Hilo uh, uh, chopper. Was yeah. it like an airplane? Uh, helicopter, yeah. Yeah. because they, they wanted a, a quicker uh, takeoff. Yeah. And when they had those, um, what plane, the uh, uh, T-57? The, uh, the one that the, the one that the Army always used to uh, make the tank. No. Uh, the B, huh? Yeah, the T-52 bomber. It was too slow for them. Yeah. So that's why they came out with the Helio, but that ain't gonna even save you in the structure, man. Right. You know? It, it had to take something of a uh, outside uh, known yeah. technology with the uh, uh, the angel of the Lord have, man. The move that quick. I tell you that the angel move uh, at the lightning. Yeah. Okay, so you got it, bro. Second Edges chapter 12, verse 36. Mm -hmm. Thou only has been meant, yeah. it's like, thou only has been meet to know the secret of the highest. Therefore, write all these things that thou hast seen in a book and hide them. And teach hide them in the book. What, till when? Till the end where, where the seals are open and he sent his prophets out to break it down and open right. those seals of understanding. Only unto the elect. If you don't, if you don't open your understanding, you ain't gonna get it. Yeah, Amos 3 and uh, 7. Yeah. And, and, teach, and teach them secrets and service to prophets, right? Okay. And teach them to the wise of the people hearts thou knowest may comprehend and keep these secrets. Uh -huh. yeah, we need to get that one. Amos chapter 3 Somebody get a uh, 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 Wisdom of Solomon 7. seven uh, uh, okay. God. Uh, 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 Amos chapter 3 verse 7 Surely the Lord power Yahweh will do nothing but he revealeth his secret unto his servants the prophets. But over the secret that, that, that we're revealing unto these people. 
Well, that's why we're the prophets. We're telling you the secrets of the future. It's not a secret to the past, of the past. Okay? We don't, it's not a secret. We know what happened in the past. It's usually written down in the book. But we can still discern the lies from the truth and even uh, expound unto you the things of the future. Who had a... Uh, it's Matthew 13 and 9. Uh -huh. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. If you, if you, if the Most High has opened up your ears and your eyes and your, and your, and your mind, then you can see, hear, and understand this thing. Go ahead. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parable? Some of the things we're saying that that, that elder man that was up here, <laughs> it's like it's like he it was like we we're speaking parables unto him. He couldn't he couldn't fully understand it. He wasn't spiritually discerned. Go ahead. And he answered and said unto them. Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. It's given unto the elect to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. No matter how plain it's said, most high will come through and swap that out there like we told him. I don't want you to know that. I don't want the same for you. Go on up the block. You got something to do, don't you? You know, we mess around send the wicked one to come take away that was sown in your heart. Mm -hmm. yeah. But unto them it is not given. But unto them it's not given. You got it, bro. It's the words of a Solomon's seven, right? It said, Wherefore I pray that understanding was given me. Uh -huh. I call upon your power, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. Man, that's the That's for the, 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 the servant of the prophets. That's yeah. why it tells you that in uh, James, the first chapter, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta pray without a uh, uh, wafer. To, to, you ask for the wisdom. The Lord, you know, if you, if you knock, you know, he will, he will come, come in. Yeah. Nope. He will suffer you. Go ahead. It's in, uh, jump down to 15. The house has granted me to be as I would and to conceive as it be for the things that are given me because it is that leading, like it is he that leading unto wisdom and directed to what? Uh -huh. For in his hand are both we and our word. All wisdom, also and knowledge. So saying, and, and, and he is both our, our, our we and, our, and his words. Is that what it said? No, uh, in our word. And I, he, and say it again, Bible. It said, for in his hand are both we and our word. Are both we and our words. Why? Because we're in the spirit. Yeah. We're speaking in the spirit. We're speaking his words through, our, through, our, through his vessels, his mouth. Yeah. Right there, I will give you, uh, uh, with the, uh, I'll put you in your mouth with the feet. It said, um, we just gotta eat the whole row, right? Yep. All wisdom, also, and knowledge of workmanship. For he has given me certain knowledge. That's why it's like, that's why it's like, bro. That's why there's some brothers that are that are up on these stones, that's up on herbs, that they got the uh, uh, knowledge of healing and, and things like that, different um, health, different diversities of their spirit. The Heavenly Father gave them that, that workmanship within them. The, the, the yeah. brothers. Just not too long ago, you know, their brothers was going into a, a, a full breakdown of the algorithm leading up to World War III and the economic collapse. Yeah. These brothers are going into the geopolitical, economic aspects of what's leading to the overall uh, a big picture, man. Right. Yeah. That's through the spirit, man. That's 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 special. That's right. No ordinary man can can just go through the steps like that and, and break it down biblically that way, man. All right. You know? And then. Um, for he has given me certain knowledge of things that are, namely to know how the world was made and the operation of the element, the beginning ending, and the myth of the time, the alteration of the turning of the sun. Oh, these are sciences that Esau has tried to master and study. But the Bible can give you all these things and its purpose. It's okay to be a meteorologist to know the weather, but you know what the weather's for and when. You know, you know what the, the constellations are about and when. You know how the earth was made, beginning, end, and midst of the times. The past, present, and the future. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, it said, um, the beginning, ending, and, and myth of the time, the alteration of the turning of the sun, and the changes of season, the circuit of years, and the position of stars, the nature of living creatures, and the fury of wild beasts, the violence of wind, like said, meteorology. Yep. It said, uh, and the reasoning of men. So you got some that are uh, good at uh, being psychologists. Yep. You know, psychology. You yep. know, the, the study of how the mind works, the psyche. The study of the mind, yeah. It said, the diversity of plants 
and the virtue of root. Honey, honey toast. Yeah, yeah. yeah maca root, all the different type of plant root. Yeah. It's the uh, with the thalamin. Okay, I thought that it was thick. And, and when you and after you get your pre, go back to the seventh chapter and read like the last two verses of that, of that chapter. Okay. It's uh, 15 17, for the very true beginning of her yeah. is the desire, we are talking about wisdom, yeah. of discipline. And the care of the discipline is love. Yeah. And love is the keeping of her law, and the giving heed unto her law is the assurance of incorruption. Yeah. Your wife could give you assurance that you are not going to be able to uh, sin and stuff. Yeah. You're not going to be enticed by uh, committing sin, by uh, being tempted to do those things. Can you say something about yourself? Like, like in uh, you two do math, right? Because true, a mom is math, all of that. So I always like to like this correlation. So if you have rules to break it down certain theorems on how to break down certain math equations, guess what? You stick to the rules. Formula. The formula, right? Well, this book has the formula of what uh, of the right steps to make to earn salvation. Right. So it's the same thing, keeping it, taking heed to her laws with the assurance of incorruption, the assurance of not getting this wrong. It's that an incorruption making us near unto Yahweh. The incorruption making us near to the most high God, Yahweh. Right. It's that, therefore. That's, that's, why, that's why Yahweh Shah was, was, was so near unto the most high God, Yahweh, because he was incorrupt. He was pure. He was perfect. Yeah, that's just like last night, we going to Enoch. How he walked with Yahweh, man. He was, he was walking mm -hmm. justly. And he was uh, perfect by following the law of that commandment, you know? Which made him uh, a, a friend of Yahweh. Right. He was actually a friend of the Most High. Not to men in the Bible who was actually a friend of the Most High. You know? right. It said, therefore, the desire of wisdom brings us to a kingdom. Go, go back from there to uh, uh, seven verse uh, 27. Uh, wisdom of Solomon 7 and 27. And being but one, she can do all things, and remaining in herself, she making all things new. Yep. Which is uh, kind of, yep. it should be kind of. Yep. Refreshed. Yep. And in all ages, entering into the holy soul, she making them friends of Yahweh and prophet. And we were just talking about that. There you go. Now, with uh, Solomon, but, uh, also friend, he had, uh, what's his name, uh, King David, yep. uh, Abraham. Yep. Yep. Friends. Friend of Moses. And who are the Lord's disciples? Right. Yeah. His friends. Yeah. You, you laid down your life for, for your friends. Yeah. You know? And it did all to the prophet. Where, where it did, uh, where, and prophet. For your how and love is done by him that dwelleth with wisdom. I got a quick one. Sirach or Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 2, verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord Yahweh and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Uh, I'm going to keep reading. For the Lord Yahweh is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in time of affliction. That, yeah, that was that, that top part. I also want to judge that. This part of the Job chapter 4. Um, and uh, in 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent. Enoch was innocent. Yeah. That's why he didn't go out that way. Elijah was innocent. That's why he didn't go out that way. He didn't perish. That's what I'm saying. No, so it, it didn't apply to them. Right. Uh, 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 going out without anybody else. We, 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 prepared. we had to die, you know? Yeah. You know? Now, you Even think, though your house shy, died, he perished, but that was because of what he did in the past. Yeah, exactly. So if it wasn't for his past, he would uh, fit in that same category. But it was two, bo two, two birds with one stone. Though, right, two you birds know? one stone, yeah. So, so he had to uh, get his own sins. You go to Hebrews 7 chapter, and break that down, that he had to do for his own sins of his past life, yeah. but then also for the people's sins, for the people, but not uh, as him as himself. Back to the, the heavenly father. Right, somebody had to die for that, but he earned that because of his past life. Right. Yeah. Yep. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and verse uh, 1, it says, But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High. Uh -huh. 
and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. Wait, wait, wait. What the torment is death, man. Because yeah. the wages of sin is death. All right, but he, he's forgiven sins of we just read. Go ahead, bro. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. Yeah, because they think we die. We, they think we perish. But I can tell you this what. Yeah. It says, their departure is taken from misery, and they're going from us to be utter destruction. It's going to look like we're getting zapped yeah. by the church, but no, we're getting beamed up. Hmm. Lord willing, right? But, th but they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. Well, immortality means the, the, the inability to die, is really, you know, in a rough way to say it. Right? Not inability, but not, not seeing death. Yep. Yeah, so, so, yeah. Oh, I, I, I'll get it. Like, like Job said, though he, though he slay me, yeah. <laughs> yeah. though he slay me, I will not, you know, I may maintain my trust in, may, may, may my trust in him, man. Yeah. He's still going to walk the path no matter what a, a, a path of difficulty that he has to uh, walk through, man. Yep. Uh, Luke 9 and 37. It said, but I tell you of a truth, very thumb standing here, which shall not take the death, till yeah, they right. be the kingdom of your house. First, first Corinthians hey, 15. Because yeah. those first that, that don't die, yeah, yeah, yeah. when you read a revelation, it tells you that yeah. they... Uh, They're going to meet up in the heaven. They, it tells you that they... Because um, John, uh, 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 he asked the angel, uh, uh, who are these? And he basically said, these are they yeah. in, uh, in, uh, arrayed in white robes yeah. Yeah. that came out of uh, tribulation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That was in the first or second? That's, that's no, that was in Revelation. Revelation. This, this, this Revelation. Six, I, six, I believe six, like the, the seventh six, chapter, six or, or, seven or, chapter the, yeah. or the fifth yeah. chapter, one of those two yeah. chapters. But basically they were made what? Pure. Pure. Yeah. All right, so the, the parent, the, 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 um, whoever perished being innocent, you know, so those that make it out of the tribulation with those white robes, those they, they were pure, they were innocent. There was no gal found in them. Yeah, there was no trickery. Uh, there was no trickery, no deceit. All right, they they they, they were um, they, they spoke the truth. They served the Lord, man, with a pure heart, man. They wasn't guilty of of, of the blood of no man. You know. Where, where is the, I mean, the one in First Corinthians, a precept to First Corinthians. About the death, of that thing. There's another one. I, I, I'm trying to think. It was maybe Paul that broke oh, the death. the resurrection. Wait, but I'm, I'm trying to think. Because basically, what he was talking about was like I, I, I think it was how I said it. It was like I've gotten the final victory over death. That's yeah. That's I've gotten the, the last final enemy. The, love, the last adversary. The At, last enemy. Yeah. Like that. I think that is uh, that is First uh, Corinthians 15. Yeah, where's uh, Dystema? Uh, yeah, but, but yeah. it's something else. It's something, it's another. Now, you know. Are you talking about what Apostle Paul said? I fought the good fight of faith? That's Timothy, isn't it? No, no. I'll finish my course. No, because I've gotten the victory over the final adversary, is kind of what it's talking about. What kind of quote? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I got a precept. Yeah, we got This is Job chapter uh, 5, verse uh, 17. I'm going to read down to 22. Behold, happy is the man whom the Most High correcteth. Therefore, despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. For he maketh sword and bindeth up. He woundeth, and his hands make holy. That's, that's you know, we, we're going through that refining process right now. Man. The Lord is breaking, uh, breaking us down, and he's building us up. That's what you do to a uh, building. If you want to uh, knock down a building and build a new one on that same foundation, you got, you got to knock that old building down. Then you have to uh, uh, build up the new building from, from, uh, from, from the bottom to the top. All right, verse 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yet in seven there, sh there shall no evil touch thee. So that seventh trouble is the, you know, the nuclear destruction. All right. In famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. For, th for thou yeah, shalt... Like last night, we was going into it. The yeah. Lord is going to make sure he keep his elect from, from evil, man. Right. He's going to watch over them. He's going to be their security, man. Ah. You know? For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, 
and the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee. You know, because you know one of the prophecies, you know, wild beasts is going to be terrorizing people. Man. So those beasts are going to be at peace with the with their elect. You know? uh, Revelation ten and uh, and uh, nine, and when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the soul of them that were slain for the word of Yahweh and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, Right, we're, we're, we're uh, proclaiming the testimony of Yahweh Shai doing this, man. What yeah. doing right now. Yep, and they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, do it thou not judge and avenge our blood of them that dwell on the earth? And white robe were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them, that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed that they were should be fulfilled. And you, have, you, you got some of the elect that passed on. Right. Uh, some of our elders that passed on, you know, that, uh, that died in the, uh, doing this work, you know, this work of the Lord. They're, they're, uh, they're uh, complaining to the Lord for us. Right. You, know? you just read Job 5? Yeah. Yep. Oh, count, count. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I go with the. Uh, Right, yeah. and, uh, the first resurrection. No, not the first no. resurrection, but those that die first, <laughs> raised up first. first. And then, that's, that's yeah, that's what he's talking about. If you want to get it, you can get it. Yeah, yeah, because I didn't actually read it. Because yeah. because it also said to comfort one another with those words. Yeah, that's actually comforting. You know, uh, you know, when brothers pass on in this truth, yeah. the it. Lord's gonna raise those brothers up first, man. You know. That's gonna be a beautiful thing, you know. And, and it tells you in a, a revelation how basically uh, their works uh, followed them. Yeah. You know, they're you resting got, from their labors. Got them to pot or? No, you go ahead first. It's uh, First Thessalonians four, and uh, uh, fifteen. It said, "For this we say unto you." By the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Those are the ones that uh, died, when we read in uh, Revelation chapter 6. It said, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a child, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of uh, Yahweh, and the dead in Yahweh's child shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the cloud of the chariot. To meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. But that, that those that have passed on before us, they're not they're not tormented or in the grave somewhere asleep. They're actually up here in the spirit world living, excited about when they come down to, to do what we're doing again, or to, to come down and, and uh, be with us again. Or us to be with them in better in better sense. Right, if, if they don't raise, then that means the Lord didn't raise. Right. And if the Lord didn't raise, then that means that all oh. this is in vain. Right. <laughs> like it, it tells you that, man. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. So you have those that are going to be alive, you know, brother. That's going to make it, and you're going to have those that that die in the, in the work, man. Yeah. Whether they be they'll die of a natural cause, the Lord has mercy and just you know bring them home. Or, or if they get put to death, uh, 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 honorable death, you know, like like the uh, the martyrs in the scriptures, you know, or those that got uh, uh, beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shah because they they refused to uh, bow down to this uh, new world order system and they refused to the chip. Yep, I got I got to read what you mean. This is goes right into what you're talking about. Yep. Um, First Corinthians 15. Uh, let me see. Uh, I'm gonna start at verse ten. But by the yeah, but by the grace of the Most High God Yahweh, I am what I am, and His grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of Yahweh, uh, which was in me. Therefore, whether it were I or they, so we preach, and, and, and so ye believe. Now, yeah, through, through the same spirit we're preaching, and now the people believe. Regardless if it was through me or through another man. 
but by the same spirit of the same word, right? He says, um, now if your house shall be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? Mm. But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then Yahweh Shai uh, not risen. Is Yahweh Shai not risen? And if Yahweh Shai uh, be not risen, it is our preaching vain, and your faith is also vain. Right, that like those that also probably people that don't think that uh, the Messiah had came yet. No. Then that means we gotta wait for him to come, do <laughs> his work, then die, and then raise the dead, man. Nah, no, we've been past that. You know, he's been came and, and went, you know? Uh, it says, uh, hey, because you had you had uh, differences going back to today, uh, the time of the uh, Acts right. of the Apostles. You had the Pharisees Sadducees. and you had the Sadducees. The Pharisees, they believed in the resurrection. Right. The Sadducees right. didn't. Yeah. They didn't believe in the resurrection, so it was always... Dissension. Conflict. The, the dissension, conflict in, in the synagogues, man. Right. Well, verse 15, it says, Yea, and we are found... Yeah, and we are found false witnesses of the Most High God because we have testified of God that He raised upon Yahweh, excuse me, raised up Yahweh Shai, whom He raised not up. So if He, excuse me, so it be that the dead rise not. So the dead ain't gonna rise up. So like if Yahweh Shai didn't rise up, like right. we were saying, right? Right, because that prophecy for dead to rise up can't happen without Yahweh Shai rising up first. Right. Exactly. exactly right. He's the first fruits, right? He said, for if the dead rise not, then is not Yahweh Shai raised. Hey, and if you say, and, and if uh, them rejecting the fact that he uh, resurrected, it was basically uh, uh, rejecting the power of the Lord. They denied yeah, the exactly. power. Because yeah. it was the power of the Heavenly Father that raised the Yahweh Shai back. And then right? ultimately you're rejecting your uh, chance of salvation. Exactly. Right. Yahweh Shai is the one that could uh, uh, redeem us. Uh, but he couldn't redeem us without him right. being raised up. What you gonna yeah. redeem us from? Yeah. yeah. Right? And he didn't do it himself. It was his heavenly father, Yahweh, that raised him from the dead. Uh, uh, without faith, it is impossible to, to please the Most High God, Yahweh. He must believe, uh, uh, must believe that he is and a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Okay. What's the reward? The, the, the escape from death. We're doing this for salvation, which salvation is an escape from death. Eternal life. Yep, into a, into a, a more abundant life. That's right. Uh, you gonna grab that? Yeah, I'm gonna uh, grab it. Hebrews 11, six. Three, one, and then jump to six. You think which one? Hebrews 11. The one that you have to believe that he wrote from the dead. Oh, no, I'm, I'm about to read it now. Oh, okay. I'm about to read it now, unless you got something else. They're talking about the rewarding. Oh, my bad, my bad. Uh, verse um, 17, it says, And if your house shall be not raised, your faith is vain, you are, you are yet in your sins. <laughs> and, and then, all, then they also, which are fallen asleep in your house shall, are perished. If in this life only we have hope in Yahweh Shai, we are all, we are of all men most miserable. Hey, to basically to, to be pity, because yeah. we want to get the hell up out of here. We want to be uh, uh, raised up, man. Yeah. We want to be redeemed out of these uh, filthy uh, uh, bodies that give us fucking hell, man. Huh. Right. You know. So we're here. Yeah, we're we're we, we're miserable in the hope, man, because we know that our Lord, you know, He's gonna be the one that's gonna come back to return. And to uh, deliver us unto His glory, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the glory that He that He was risen up with, we are gonna be uh, given that glory, man. Right, right. You know, but it's like that's where our hope and expectation. That's where that's is where we, that's where our hope is at. But it's being prolonged because we still got to go through everything that the Lord said. You know, so you, you become miserable, man. You know. Verse twenty says, "But now is Yahweh Shai risen from the dead, and become the first fruits of them that slept." <laughs> he only slept for three days, right? Oh, that he tell you in uh, Matt twenty four. No, not Matt twenty four. In, uh, in uh, quote, quote the spirit. It was John three. I'm sorry. How uh, he said that he's gonna break the temple 
For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection from the dead. It says right, I was going to jump it, but it's right here. For as in Adam all die, even so in Yahweh shall so all be made alive. And I'm showing you that they were the same spirit. That the first man Adam, and then the last man Adam being Yahweh Shai. So that's there in front of the chapter. It says, uh, Yes, uh, yeah, verse 23. But every man in his own order. Yahweh shot the first fruits. But Adam was the first fruits, right? <laughs> back back upon the earth. It says, um, even so in Yahweh shot shall all be made alive. Oh yeah, I read that again, my bad. But every man in his own order, Yahweh shot the first fruits. Afterward, they that are all Yahweh shots at his coming. The the elect, right? Then cometh the end, when he shall have delivered up, when he shall have delivered up uh, the kingdom to the Most High, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. For he must reign till he have put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that is uh, to, uh, that shall be destroyed is death. Death. <laughs> and I let you know he's gonna basically put away corruption. Yeah. Oh. Corruption of, uh, of the Israelites. Yeah. You know, from the time of uh, the, uh, the garden when, when yeah. death first came on the earth, yeah. through what the devil and Eve did, yeah. and, and Adam following suit. Yeah. Yahweh Shai basically did uh, did back what he did as Adam. Yeah. Yeah. He brought earth into the, uh, he brought death into the world. And then he also took away death from the world. Yeah. You know? That's the, hey, that's the beauty of it, man. I got more, what's up? 